Want to learn how to design a part in Fusion 360? Well, that's what we're doing in this week's video. So this week, I'm gonna show you how to model a practical part for 3D printing. I needed some brackets so I could make this filament rack to store my filament. And there were some brackets available online, but I didn't quite like some of them, so I decided to make my own. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you guys the basics of Fusion 360. I'm by no means an expert, but I've at least learned the basics and I hope you guys can maybe learn something from it so you guys can go design your own parts to 3D print. Before I got started, I actually sketched out the part on paper and then I hopped in Fusion 360. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a sketch and then you start drawing with your line tool. Uh, you can either hit L or just select the line tool. You can enter dimensions by hitting the D key on your keyboard or going to the dimension tool and selecting the two points that you want to constrain a dimension to. Here I just uh, drew out the rest of the sketch using the line tool. And when that was done, I just roughly drew in the uh, cutouts using the line tool and uh, then I constrained them using the parallel constraint tool. To make the corners nice and round, I just used the fillet tool. Then I entered the dimensions of the radius, which was an eighth of an inch. And then I had my rounded corners. Then just hit stop sketch and your sketch is done. And to turn this into a three dimensional object, if you want to select your sketch, uh, use the extrude tool, enter your dimension, and then you've got your three dimensional object. And so the next step was to create a sketch on the faces of the mounting tabs for the screw holes. And here I just used the circle tool uh, or C on the keyboard. And I just placed my circle and entered the dimension. And then just to make sure that the holes were in the right place, I used the dimension tool to check. And the second sketch was done. And the next step was to extrude these holes inward to cut out our holes. Then I selected the chamfer tool and selected the circles so I could give them a countersink for the screws. And the last step was to just fillet those corners uh, just to give them a nice round edge. So let's just say at this point you realized, oh, I totally forgot to add a tab. So how do we go add that back in? So to go back and edit your part, you just right click on one of your sketches and click edit sketch. Then you can just draw back in whatever you need and extrude that out and you're done. So to print your part, you'll want to go to file, then 3D print. It'll ask you to select your print utility. In this case, I use Kira, so I selected that. Then you just hit OK and it'll go ahead and open up your print utility. If you don't already know how to 3D print, I do have a video on it and it will be linked in the description if you want to go check it out. And that's pretty much all it took. I took the parts off the print bed and cleaned them up and then mounted them to the wall. I designed the brackets to hold up a couple lengths of 2x2s. I actually got this idea from Joel the 3D Printing Nerds brackets. I will have his video and channel linked in the description. So there you go. Now you should know how to at least use the basics of Fusion 360 so you can go out there and design some cool parts to print on your 3D printer. Now if you want to use the part that I designed to make your own filament rack, I will have the link in the description, but I encourage you to go out there and try to design your own. But that's all for this week, so if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, and if you're not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in next week's video.